Uh, my name is Anthony Durkin, and I'm uh, at the Beckman Laser Institute at the University of California, Irvine. Been there since uh, January of 2001. Prior, prior to that, I had spent uh, three years at Candela Laser Company in, uh, in Boston as a uh, manager of a, a research division. And then prior to that, I spent three years at the Food and Drug Administration doing a postdoc. But my training is really in uh, biomedical engineering with an em emphasis on uh, optical spectroscopy and quantitative methods in fluorescence and near-infrared um, imaging. So the things that I'm working on primarily now are related to looking at skin, skin cancer, uh, melanoma in particular, and trying to determine if we have uh, a reasonable approach to helping the process of melanoma screening. Um, we have we work with a bunch of, of dermatologists, Stuart Nelson, Kristen Kelly, looking at some just fundamental aspects of skin and skin. Uh, can we look at uh, skin aging and quantitative assessment of skin aging? Uh, quantitative assessment of therapy. Uh, we use a lot of different laser technologies to treat vascular lesions, the port wine stains. We're also working with uh, surgery and plastic surgery um, to develop a wide field uh, imaging technique that may be useful for um, assessing the response of a tissue transfer flap to, to the process, in the process of moving tissue from one place to another. So one of the things we'd like to do is, and one of the things that we're actually doing is uh, applying a, a technique that we developed at BLI called modulated imaging. Um, as a quantitative wide field area uh, means of uh, interrogating tissue that gives you uh, quantitative wide field maps of oxy, deoxyhemoglobin, water, and lipid, and it, it looks like it's very promising in terms of being able to tell ver very early if a tissue flap is compromised. Um, we're also developing a project to look at burn triage and uh, helping to uh, the surgeon to better estimate how much eschar the sort of damaged tissue to remove um, prior to graft, and that's a very important uh, assessment to make. What are some new developments in dermatology that Photonics has made possible that are now available to the public? One of the things that's been, become very popular recently is sort of the, lunch, the idea of the lunchtime skin rejuvenation procedure and the lunchtime acne reduction procedure, both of which use lasers that work in the um, you know, 1400 to 1500, maybe 1600 nanometer region where you're introducing a very light, a uh, very subtle uh, damage to the sub-epidermis and, and uh, protecting the skin with, for example, with a cooling uh, spray. The laser companies have actually begun to uh, develop and they're very close to market now um, certain devices that uh, may be home use devices, so home use hair removal devices, home use, acne reduction um, technologies, um, and these are things that, that um, have been discussed and developed over the last three, four years, and, and at right now they are um, on the verge of uh, taking off in the market. What are the pros and cons of some of those home use therapies? But I'm sure that there's going to be a, a heated debate in, in that domain. Certainly, there are going to be safety issues um, that have to be mitigated, and, and I'm sure the, the device manufacturers are thinking about this. It, it's not an inconsequential amount of light that is needed to uh, remediate, do a, perform a hair removal or, or an ac acne reduction, and so they're, they're going to have to be certain interlocks and safeguards um, from the consumer end. Would you talk about how you interact with students in your lab and what areas of research they're interested in? Get students who have never done participated in research, they just show, heard about it from, um, you know, various professors, and they they want to get some sense of what it what it is, what it means to do research. On the other hand, we get um, people who have have worked at at other labs and have um, discovered, for example, that we're developing this technology, modulated imaging, that exists only at Beckman Laser Institute. And they want to get in. They th you know we we have a dialogue with them, and we explain. Um, you know, where the potential applications are, and typically that really excites people really want to get involved with things that might make a, a real impact in the real world, and, and that's a really a very strong uh, driving aspect. And we also get people who are very sophisticated in terms of engineering, and they know exactly what they want to do and where their strengths are. 
um, and a lot of interest lately in computational aspects related to um, the problem set that, we're, that accompanies modulated imaging. Uh, there's a, a great deal of parallelism in the um, attempt to drag information out of the modulated imaging images, and, and so there's a great wealth of, of um, research opportunity there, and, and working with myself and Bruce Tromberg and David Cuccia. We share students, we rotate them through, um, we mentor them as they, they need. It's really a sort of a, an attempt to find out where the strengths and weaknesses are and, and cultivate the, um, you know, the interests. And so we really want everybody to be successful.